Hey, I'm Brennan, and today we are checking out the Ruka Apollo 2.0 Gore-Tex gloves coming in at 250 bucks. These are gonna be a great option for the cooler weather riding season, and as the name implies, you do have Gore-Tex waterproofing here, and that's gonna be the best in the biz. If you know anything about Gore-Tex, they're excellent when it comes to their breathability, the waterproof capability they provide, as well as guaranteeing the waterproofing for the lifetime of the garment. So a lot going on with these gloves, and that's why you're gonna see that higher price point around that $250 range. These are actually replacing the original Apollo gloves that came out in the fall of 2012. So it has been quite a time since we've seen any update and I actually have the old pair right here to compare. So not a whole lot has changed. The knuckles changed a little bit, a little accordion there and you can see the fingers have been updated. So it was a nice update. I think it was a very tasteful update overall and we've still got some nice Gore-Tex capabilities with these particular gloves. Now before we get going, let's talk about the overall fit. That is pretty important. So I generally measure 8.75 inches around the full circumference of my hand. Now that typically puts me in a size nine for like held, let's say, or a size large for like Alpine Stars or Dainese, things like that. So I typically wear a size large in most of my gloves, I would say. With my measurements, when you reference a sizing chart for Ruka, that is actually gonna put me in a size 10. I actually went down a full size to a size nine, and this is what's fitting me very well. So I would certainly say, get your measurements, reference that chart, and for me, I easily went down to the size nine, and I still feel very comfortable in this size. Nothing feels restrictive, so I would certainly say, if you're in between two sizes, definitely go for the smaller option. I think you'll be more happy with that. For me, it was a full size down and I was good to go. And again, I typically wear a size large in most of my options there. Keep in mind at 250 bucks, these will ship to you for free. and We do have a price match policy in place that's there to ensure that you're getting the best deal around. So take advantage of that. We've got a goat leather main construction. Of course, we've got that Gore-Tex waterproof membrane in there as well. Starting right here at the wrist, can see that Velcro retention strap right there on the top. And then we've got another Velcro strap towards the bottom. This is nice because you've got plenty of adjustability depending on the size of your jacket, if you want to wear it over, if you want to wear it under. There's a hot debate about you know uh, winter gloves and whether you should wear it under or over depending on the rain and things like that. So lots of versatility here, a good range uh, to accommodate those larger sleeves if you need to do it. So very straightforward there. As we continue working our way down towards the knuckle, they updated this a little bit. They got rid of some of the accordion in this area. It is very comfortable. It's more of that floating knuckle there. And they've got some nice foam padding underneath the knuckle. So it is very comfortable. Double stitching surrounding that. Hard TPU knuckle protection. That's pretty much par for the course these days with a lot of manufacturers. As we continue swinging our way down the fingers, a little bit more unique here. We have accordion on those middle fingers there. We usually get it on the index as well as the, the, the middle finger and not just the ring finger in the middle finger. So I thought that was a little bit more unique but we do have this visor wipe. They're still sticking with this plastic wipe on, the, uh, on that index finger. The visor wipe does work. It works great for clearing your face shield, but yeah, just don't scratch your nose with it. Not gonna feel great. So working our way to the palm side of the glove, touch tech capability on the index finger. You're also gonna get that on the thumb. I want that on all my gloves moving forward. I'll give it a pass for dirt gloves. I don't really need to be checking my phone too much in that application unless I'm doing some ADV touring. But yeah, every, Every pair of gloves moving forward should just have the touch tech capability on the index and thumb. We're all using our phones for navigation on a routine basis, so I like that they gave that to us even though this is a waterproof style glove. We don't always see it on waterproof gloves, so that's why I'm mentioning it. Then you've got some digital goat right here, some additional reinforcement in this particular area. That's a high wear area uh, as you're grabbing your bar, so nice to have that. And then nice protection here. You can see the update that they made. It was kind of this carbon fiber material on the previous one. I and mean, they just updated it. It's more of like a, a TPR, like a hard rubber compound in this particular area, but still surround it with nice stitching. Typically, I like to see some coverage on that outer seam a little bit more um, because this is an area, you know, if you're coming off the bike, a little low side there, you're putting your hand out to brace for impact. And this is something that, you know, can really come apart pretty easily. So I really like to see some reinforcement. And I think at this $250 price point, that's something uh, we should certainly have for this particular glove. But overall, I like the versatility. It's incredibly comfortable. Nothing feels restrictive. Could have used some accordion on the index finger there. That was kind of an odd design in my opinion, but uh, I like the visor wipe and I like that we've got the gore grip. I do want to mention that on the inside. So what that means is, you know, when you're taking your hands out of the glove, right? 
they actually have this stitched on the inside. That gore liner on the inside where you're getting the waterproof capabilities is actually stitched to the inside of the glove. So that liner doesn't pull away with the glove. If you've ever worn wet gloves that have, let's say a thermal insulation to it or anything like that, when you pull your hand out of it, all that interior wants to come with your hand as well. And then it makes it a pain in the butt to put your gloves back on. So because it has the, uh, the gore grip there and it's kind of stitched in, everything's gonna stay in place and remain nice and comfortable and makes it that much easier to put your gloves on and off, uh, especially if you're riding out there in the rain. Uh, it certainly makes a difference. It certainly is worth mentioning. So if you're looking for an option that's gonna get you into the cooler weather riding season, or maybe you're just looking for something with excellent waterproof capability with a good amount of protection and nice coverage around the wrist, this could be a great option for you to take a closer look at. And as always, if you're looking for more details, click that info button. And if you have questions about these gloves, or you're comparing it to some alternative options out there, do not hesitate to reach out to our customer service team. They're all riders, more than happy to get you pointing in the right direction. Thanks for hanging out with me for a bit and taking a closer look at the Ruka Apollo 2.0 Gore-Tex gloves. I'm Brandon. Keep it pinned.